Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our dear brother and this is the translation of that message. The translation reads like this, Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story? is hidden identity so i want to confess to you that i am a ritualist and as for now i have bought my first helicopter brother nashi money is good even though most of the times i do not sleep because of the guilt that i have as a man that had his own mother murdered for a ritual sacrifice for ritual purposes but whenever i feel like i can't uh, control my thoughts because my heart keep on telling me that everything that I did was wrong. But I then start to drink a lot of alcohol. And I also spend most of the times with the most beautiful women that can be found in our Southern Africa region. And I am always dating these women that are very beautiful. I always meet these ladies online and I prefer them if they are escorts because I will know what I am dealing with. I do not want those ones that are too old. I want, I like them young. I like them fresh. And Brother Nashi, this is how I became a ritualist. I had this other friend of mine we had stayed in south africa like for a very long time all that we knew was that he had gotten married to a south african lady but we knew that he had gotten married to that lady because he just wanted a south african id because from what we were hearing was that this lady she was a prostitute and they were not like staying together each and every day but he was taking care of that woman then boom all of a sudden this guy when he came back he was driving this very beautiful black isus and during he then came back home and he was driving this very beautiful black isus which was a nice car and he then told me that he had gone to this other sangoma and at that time when he had gone to that sangoma he had been given some lucky charm oils because what he used to do is that he would go around and he would make uh, in south africa there are these still tanks that carry water they usually place these still water tanks in the locations so he was getting a lot of those tenders and he was making money left right and center and they said that he was able to get those contracts because of the lucky charm whenever he would go to submit into the tender box then he will take the oil and he will rub that lucky oil on the envelope that contained that had the letter to bid for the tender that is how he was and that is how he was getting all of those tenders so when this man told me that if i was going to get the same lucky charm oil then everything was going to be okay and when he told me that if i could get the same lucky charm then i'll be able to get like business tenders in here in our country so he wanted us to partner up with each other so here i had been struggling i had gotten a few tenders but it, there was just too much corruption by the time that you'll get your money they would have cut the money almost in half and then they'll just give you like just a piece of the cake and you have to pay for the materials that you are going to use you have to pay your workers and everything yet the big politicians who are not going to do anything they would be the one that would have gotten everything so i had an engineering company that was getting a few tenders in our country but i was struggling as and as for me there were many months where i could not be able to pay myself because i was afraid that if i was going to pay myself then i would run my business to the ground so my friend he came to me as if he was the savior and indeed i said to him you are like my jesus christ for you have come to save me and then when i tried to pull out of the deal that was when the sangoma told me that he was going to strike me with thunder and when this thunder was going to strike me i was going to run mad no one in this world wants to run mad because you won't know what you will be doing at the time when you are running mad so i did not pull out of the deal i kept that lucky charm until i had my mother sacrificed so this is how my friend sacrificed his south african wife they went out camping and with him he had some charms so they went to this other river 
the moment that the wife just stepped a feet into the river that was when she connected herself to the river spirits then there was this other time since they were like really living large the wife would regularly go out and she would be swimming and then when they bought another property at the house where they were staying they had two pools there was one indoor pool and there was an outdoor pool this is the diabolic this is the diabolical thing that my friend did since he knew that his wife she was going to die she was going to drown in one of the pools at the house where they were staying my friend then organized a trip and he then went to china when he went to china it was as if he just wanted to source some materials that he would you that he was going to use and he wanted to buy sort of like a lot of generators for his company so that he can tend out those big generators but what he was doing he was just avoiding he did not want to be there a friend was just avoiding his wife he did not want to be there uh, when his wife was going to die so when he was in china and then the wife got possessed she was possessed by a demon she then started to drink this was after she had seen a snake and after the snake had told her that all the money that she thought the husband was making it was not clean money she had that spiritual encounter that shocked her so after she had drank for a very long time that was when the snake whispered to her to go and jump into the pool to go and die even when my friend showed me the cctv I could see that the way that his late wife was walking, she was possessed. She was not walking like a normal human being. She just walked straight into the swimming pool and they had that other safety net that was, to that was on top of the pool. But still, Brother Nashi, she sank into the pool and she was drunk and she died. So after she had passed away the relatives never blamed my friend they did not know that the lucky charm that my friend had gotten was the one who had killed his wife and after that my friend's father passed away and then his relatives they started to die i panicked and i knew that i was supposed to sacrifice my mother i tried to pull out of the deal but it was already too late the healer then threatened me and said that he was going to send thunder to strike me down and i was not going to die but i was going to lose my mind to go around telling people that i had done these rituals and telling people that i was the one he said that he was going to make me mad to go around like a madman telling people and confessing to whoever would want to listen to my confession telling everyone that i am a ritualist so i then decided that it was far much better that i do sacrifice my own mother after my mother had been sacrificed i woke up and i found myself i was in the cemetery i got so scared and then out of nowhere this traditional healer appeared the traditional healer appeared he was inside a whirlwind and he told me that i was supposed to dig up my mother's grave i physically had to dig up my mother's grave and when i reached the coffin that was when i broke the coffin with the spade that i was using and then i had to chop off a hand it was not an easy thing to do because i did not have a knife or anything i used the pick and the spade i kept on hitting my mom's arm with that spade until the hand came off and after a hand it came off then i was lifted out of the grave and i handed everything to the sangoma and then the sangoma gave me back my mom's hand which i carry with me wherever i go to if i am with one of my sleigh queens then when she is fast asleep i take it out then i place it underneath my bed for those are some of the rituals that i can't tell you Th those are some of the rituals that i do some of them they are not good to be spoken in public so if anyone comes across my mom's hand what they will see it won't be a human hand but it will be more like a monkey's little hand i have been stopped by police at different roadblocks so many times 
and they would find that human hand in my glove compartment but when they will be looking at the human hand they will just see as if it is a little monkey's hand this is my confession dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our dear brother indeed strange things they do happen in this world yo